What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing good. Happy Monday. I didn't realize until I got on camera. I'm wearing a lot of green. Look at that. Something different, branching out from my usual black. You. How's it going? Me? Yeah, you. It's going great. Great. What are we working on? We're building a brand. Build what a brand. What are working on or what are you working on? I, I mean... I'm building out an email series. An email series? I am. But you are building a brand. All right. Let's do it. And it's exciting. That is exciting. Because we're going to be taking all of the cool stuff. That is exciting. Whoa. Whoa. You're going to be taking all the stuff that we make here on the stream. Yes. And putting it on a Shopify store. Does it have to be Shopify? No, it could be. It does. I don't really care how I mean, I like Shopify. It, but designers make cool stuff all the time. Yeah. And it's important to see your stuff in the wild. Which is why That's last true. time we ordered stickers. That's and we, true. And we walked through that whole process. So half of the battle is being able to get something from your head to the computer. And then the other half of it is, okay, once it's there, what do you do with it? And so I think we're trying to bring both sides of that creative coin together. Yeah. I love it. And that's exciting. That is super exciting, actually. So uh, welcome to the stream. If you're new here, thanks for joining in. My name is Derek. That's my wife, Jenna. And together we have over 40 years of experience. Oof. <laughs> nice. So it's the so first time I've ever said it like one that. One foot in the grave. It's cool. Uh, <laughs> I have over 20 years of experience as a graphic designer and a web developer, <laughs> currently a creative director working on some really cool projects. Uh, I shared some of them on the stream. My, my most current project is I'm working with Winchester on a bunch of stuff. Um, my wife is a fractional CMO for multiple startup tech companies, and she helps them with their marketing. We have an agency. Did I say that right this time? You did a great job. Look at me go. Look at you go. Anyway, the only reason why I say all that is just so you guys know, like, hey, this is what we do, this is what we're about, and we love sharing We kind of story. know what we're talking about. I mean... Sometimes. When you think about how long we've 
been doing this, you'd, you'd think we would be better than we are. But um, anyway, yeah, no. But anyway, like as you're jumping into the chat, if you have questions about freelancing or graphic design or how to make a living doing this, we've done a lot of things. We've worn a lot of hats. We've owned different businesses. We've failed lots of times. We've won lots of times. And uh, these streams are supposed to be pretty interactive. So we pay attention to the chat. We also started a brand new Discord server, mm -hmm, which links. I'll be honest, I'm brand new at it and I'm not very good, but my wife over here is a rock star. And so she's got us all set up. If you haven't joined yet, now's do the it. time. Because apparently there's cool ways to do like custom badges or things mm -hmm. for the original, the OG gangsters of the group who have supported us from the beginning. So if you want your original whatever they are in discord <coughs> sign up now jenna posted it in the chat i'm gonna copy this can i paste this on the other social platforms or is this just a behance thing you can do what the link uh yeah like on youtube post that link wherever you like homeboy discord all right cool it's in there it's it went to the, out to the web to the places so last week on friday specifically because I went live almost I went live every day last week I think you did amazing that's crazy for all people involved um so we made this this sticker purveyor of vibes it turned out pretty cool I love it it's based on an nft that my wife owns and uh we made this random graphic because we felt like it it was it was a fun project and so we just ordered the sticker it should be here in a week or so from sticker mule and then now, because of that discussion that we had with all of you on Friday, we're turning this into a full-fledged brand. Yeah. So that's what we're doing we today. And uh, that's what we're doing. So we're doing. We're doing it. Doing it. I would not be live right now if it wasn't for Jenna. So y'all can thank her in the chat. I was, I was feeling tired. It was a short night. I maybe stayed up too late playing Fortnite. I think I went to bed at 1.30. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just awake, couldn't sleep. So I played video games because it seemed like the thing to do. Um, and then life came at me hard because we have five kids and multiple dogs. And this morning was a little chaotic and early getting kids to school. All right, so where are we gonna start with this? What are we, so the new- So this was the sticker that we made, but yeah, the, the storefront brand <laughs> is going to be the vibe dot market that's the url so the vibe market is okay. what we is the brand we're building today okay so when i start a new project i literally just dive in and let's put the exact text it's the oh my goodness my keyboard's off so all my typing is sideways there we go the vibe market is the name and then we also have the vibe dot market is the url did I do that right? This is basically the brand we're building. Did I lose you? No. Nope. Oh, you're asking me? Yes. This yeah. is the, yes. Okay. So I, this is the hardest part of the project is getting started. So we're going to do a couple things here. Um, so usually I've been stashing my folders in a new Behance live projects folder. So I have each episode of it all of my lives and all the assets to go with it. But this one, cause it's actually going to turn it into a real thing. I'm going to put it in my real client folder somewhere. Here we go. And I have a template called new job and it's just got these empty folders, assets, design files, files sent. So in the assets is anything that I've used to gather, to create this project. The design files is anything I use to make the project. And then the file sent is anything that was completed to deliver the project. So uh, rather than make these every single time, <coughs> I made a blank shell folder and I put a space bar at the front of the name, a space bar, a couple spaces. So that way the name sifts to the top. And then I have all these other, some of these design files that are synced to my computer. Some of them are on my server, but basically these are my projects. Um, I'm just gonna hit command D to duplicate that. My last project was 23033. Uh, so this is 23034. Oh, nope, the copy 23034. And this is called the vibe market. Boom. 
All right. Man, the chat's really quiet this morning. But it's the time of day. It is the time of day. Yeah. Also, back to that design we started with, um, I think it was Rob who said it, <laughs> work and lurk. And then I think Christine or, Nina or somebody said, uh, it went from W-O-R-K, work and lurk, to W-E-R-K, mm. work. Work, 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 work and work, lurk. Work, yeah, work. so anyway, um, so y'all are just lurking in the chat. Hey, Janice, what's up? See, welcome. Took Janice. him a minute to like jump in there and say, "Hey, thanks for saying hi." It's always fun having people join in the chat. Okay, so we're doing some housekeeping, uh, getting the file set up. I made the new project folder, so now we can save this real quick. The vibe market. We gotta make an artboard. That's my <laughs> favorite this, part. Yeah, we'll call this artboard. It's a good way to get started. If I call it logo, this file is going to change so much. So we'll come to our new folder, go to design files, smash it in there. Boom. Okay. Done. Okay. So we're going to make a logo. We're going to do some artboardy stuff. Um, Janice says, thank you. You're welcome. Is she saying thank you to you or me? Well, I don't know. But I don't know. But you're welcome. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Um, Okay, so do you have artboard materials to send to me? Are you pulling up on like Pinterest is my favorite, you guys, for inspiration um, because there are like if you if you go to Pinterest and search for graphic design, there is a ton of great things to look at. Um, Pinterest, my board is filled with like Jeep stuff, pretty much, uh, because I'm always looking at Jeep stuff, graphic design. Brand. I know you can't see my screen yet. Just pulling some stuff up real quick. Um, how about this instead? <coughs> to you guys, of course. Thanks, Janice. All right. Uh, um, so what are we... I, I don't have any yep, uh, creative I'm, brief yet from I'm, you. I'm coming. All right. All right. The creative brief for this, I think, should be like, think vintage magic shop emporium. Think. Uh, That's an interesting. What does that even mean? Vintage like, magic. Like vintage emporium. I'm, 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 I'm going to spam your yeah, text. Okay. Um, so I just typed that into, um, what is this thing called? Pinterest. And this is the kind of stuff it's coming up with, which I don't think is what you think it means. Okay. But spam me. Okay. So I think, yeah, like an emporium, it's an idea of like, uh, it's magical. It's all encompassing. It's unique. It's. Um, you know, I think I just realized the dog's not in here. Uh oh, she's definitely. Okay. Oh, she's under she's your chair. Under my chair. Nice. Um, uh, Moxie, Moxie, come here. Hey, what are you doing? I was gonna have her say hi to the chat. To the she's people. definitely not up for it. She's not feeling good. So happy. Oh, no, I think she's fine. I think she's just. Oh, here she comes. She's like, fine, hey, I'll get here. up for you. No, no, wait, don't take me from mommy. Come here, come see me. Oh, she came, but then she... Come here, Moxie. Just big old circle in the back under the chair. All right. <laughs> okay. I can pick her up. Um, man, okay, so this is the hardest part of the project is getting into this, is just the white canvas syndrome, right? Just where do you want to start? So... I don't even know where to begin. The vibe market. Okay, so vintage apothecary. Try that. That um, is a lot of words that I don't understand. <laughs> vintage. We'll just start with vintage on the logo design side of things. Is any of this? Like, and maybe you don't like vintage. What I, do you like? I'm. Like, this isn't. I am just not about caffeinated me. enough for this conversation. So this is very much. A, is that the right button? Nope. There we go. There we go. I'm just trying to keep us both on the screen there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm 
This is a this is a rough start of a stream. We are just forcing creativity today. But that's all right. Sometimes that's, so that's the way it goes. Most of the times because you just got to get it done in the time you have. All right. So here is an image that Jen sent to me on text. What are we looking at? More is coming. All right. Oh, no. That's why did that do that? We don't like that. That one was actually a creative market bundle, interestingly enough. Um, okay. So I'm just drag and dropping images that Jenna texted me into this. So when in doubt, we turn to the alcohol. To the alcohol? Inspiration. Yeah. Oh, beer. <laughs> not like getting drunk and no, designing. You no. mean like the branding? Yeah. <laughs> coffee, like, coffee and alcohol brands have a oh, lot yeah. of money to spend yeah. and they're often not afraid to be very creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For so sure. I find it a great way to just get um, some inspiration. Coffee brand. Voodoo Ranger is a great one. Pull some of that. Um, all of their stuff is very, very clever. Um, oh, this one's cool. This isn't the vibe you're going for, but I'm just going to throw it in there anyway. It's all right. So what I do for <coughs> is I go to um, whatever I'm inspired by, right? Pull it up. Look at it. <coughs> Sorry, we both have this lingering cough. We're not sick. We're not. Maybe I'm not. Like, I feel fine other than sleep deprivation, but like. This one's I think dope. for me, it's just talking so much in the Look lives. at this one I just sent you. Oh, okay. no. Wrong. Wrong thread. Just send it to Soph. Um, <laughs> nice. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, this, this is nice. Look at the one I just sent you, though. Just like how it lays out. So Command Shift 4 to get my little cursor to do a screenshot. Click and drag. While holding down the mouse, hit the space bar to move this right over where I want it. And then before I let go, hold down the control key, then let go of the mouse, and it copies it to your clipboard. So now I can jump over to Illustrator and paste it. Boom. There we go. All right, what did you send me? Ooh, those are pretty. That's fun. Um, Which one? The the DFW one? Yeah. I yeah. like how it spans. I mean, obviously, it's not exactly right. But... Um, yeah. Very cool. So, if I wanted to kind of start thinking about colors, too. We're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. We don't even have a logo yet. We're kind of building a brand in general. I could sample the color. My eyedropper tool. Click it. And then option click on the swatch to... Fill it. Literally anything these guys do is ridiculously wonderful. Oh, who else? Oh, they had that cream and it was so good. And I used to really like it. The California Creamin? No. Nope. California Creamin? Nope. They had so many different. Oh. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you do. You do, though. You really do. Um. Oh, no, why? Uh. So right now we're just kind of playing around with some ideas for some sort of a brand. <clears throat> Nothing too crazy yet, but we're going to get crazy. Don't you worry. They have one that's like stampeding elephants. They have one that's... Um, I literally have no idea what you're talking about. Oh my gosh. When I used to be able to drink beer, it was my favorite. There was the elephants tree shaker. Uh, Are you talking about the space dust? Ele uh, no. Ele there she is. Yes. Uh, this is Odell. Odell Brewing Company. They have some of the best designs out there i will there she is yes cream catcher cream catcher like 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 dream catcher oh, i got you hazer tag stop it these guys are the best honestly sipping pretty remember i wanted to get a tattoo like this one i 
Don't. When you see it, you oh, will know. Oh, yes. There it is. All right. Oh, that this is what you're me. talking about? Yes. I remember now. Their stuff is just so creative. Um, gotcha. Those yep. are really nice. Okay. All right. <coughs> okay. Boom. Um, I think that the Sippin' Pretty is too feminine. I think that Voodoo Ranger is too harsh. I think we're <coughs> looking for something right in the middle. Um, okay. Voodoo Ranger. Um, okay, I'll, let me get up in the chat again now that I've sent you all of that. Cool. Um, because... Either tag. We love to see it. Let me get in here. Excuse me. Can I talk you into bringing me one of these, please? In the fridge. Yes. I can go grab it real quick. I'll go no, grab here. it. Okay. You can stay on here. I'll be right back. Sounds good. Portion, the next portion of this stream is sponsored by mm -hmm. Celsius. Celsius. Energy drinks from Costco. They don't know that they're sponsored this stream, but they did. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, my headphone cables are all right. Boom. Okay. Boom. We get it. I, I sent you what I feel to be a good... Is there anything new or just you saying what you already sent? Got it. Okay. So if just sent me a snap, a yeah. history, like a historical snap. Uh huh. Um, she's like to think we hopped on a plane exactly a year ago. Oh my goodness. Don't even talk to me right now. What happened exactly a year ago, Jen? We packed up our kids, our dogs, everything. And we left for six weeks. How many dogs did we take? take we with had, us? we only had three then. Life was simpler. Oh, life was simpler. <laughs> we did three, have all five kids, though. Three dogs, five kids, and the it was three amazing. older kids drove down with me, which was a 16, 17 hour drive. And it was chaos, and, then, and I know I'm looking at it with rose colored oh, glasses. Oh, you definitely have rose colored glasses on. But I miss it. Miss which part of it? I miss the adventure of it. Yeah. I miss the chaos of it. This is turning into a podcast episode. They kind of yeah. all do, which is why I love these live streams. I but, know it's true. All right. um, no. So, so wait, no, like not, not only did we load everything up in event, and then you flew down with the babies with Soph, right? Not by myself because well, they no. were two and one at the time. No, oh my they gosh. were. Yeah. Two and a half and one and a half at the time. And but for no, six weeks, not and you and I worked from the she kitchen was, she table just, of the She VRBO. turned three, like two days after we left. Mitchell Lawrence is in the chat. What's hey, up, Mitchell? Mitch. Welcome. Um, yeah, no, it was wild, but I, I'm grateful for the time. Yeah. Um, and everything went wrong. Literally everything. Everything. I went mean, wrong. in anything you can think of, from like cards getting hacked to like me ending up in the hospital, having to wear a pirate patch, like. Oh, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I got a massive unexplainable eye infection. Like, dude, we had to move four times instead of trip. being at one place for the entire time. We, so we were gonna it do like It ended up costing like four times more. We burned through like all of our savings to be there. Our daughter is now in high school as a freshman. And yeah. so we were like, if we're gonna do this, this, this is, is our, like moment. our chance to go be yeah. crazy and like, let's let's go stay somewhere warm because we're from montana and to put it in perspective when we got back from this trip it was 30 below zero it was like 50 below with the it wind chill was the worst right now it's like 40 degrees it's not bad but anyway it was <coughs> the worst and so we're like let's go someplace warm so we went down um, to a place called summerlin which is just the outside of las vegas uh, we did that because there's two places that 
you could get a direct flight from where we live. There was either San San Diego or Las Vegas were like the only two options. So I was like, well, let's, we're not going to San Diego. So, um, we did that. And then the day we got where we were supposed to go, the VRBO was not as advertised. It was like broken down, nasty rips and tears in the couch. Like it was bad. Oh, um, that wasn't honestly even all of it. It was, there was so exposed much exposed wires upstairs in the bathroom that wasn't finished being remodeled. Like everything yep. was wrong. Metal shavings on the floor because the people who had been there before, like they had like trashed the place. There was still like dirty laundry and the laundry thing, like all the linens, like it was like, are we supposed to wash these? It was the worst. So the worst. we decided, okay, we're going to move. Yeah. But we didn't want to come back home yet. We wanted to stay. So, but everything was booked because Thanksgiving and everything yeah. was, like three times as expensive. Oh, it was so bad. That was a crazy trip. We ended up in Phoenix. But I would do it all again in a heartbeat because I love the adventure of it. Anyway, that yeah. was a year ago today. All right. I want to I wanna redo. So do we want to borrow from this font at all that we did the Purveyor of Vibes thing with? Nope. This is completely different and separate. So, I, th I mean, if you like it, sure. I think the goal for this is just something that you love and that can be applied to whatever we want to apply it to okay this is this is going to be a house of brands not a brand house, house. house so you brands. can do with it what you will all right the difference being right google is a brand house <clears throat> everything is google branded drive is branded you know to match right, right. um uh, drive, voice, everything yeah. in the Google ecosystem. But a house of brands is is means it's separate things that yeah. are loosely correlated. So, for example, the Amazon suite, right? You've got um, ACX. You've got a bunch of other properties underneath them that don't match. So this alone. could either be a very neutral looking design or it could be. No, very... send it. Send it. All right. Man, I, yeah, yeah, I don't even know Ooh, where to begin. Mitch likes the vibe market. I yeah. know, super fun. We agonized over that. Yeah, so we're going to be selling these stickers among <laughs> whatever else we decide to make on the street. I know, it'll be super fun. <laughs> I also, so let's see, logo, brand. We could build the website real quick. Don't get out of yourself. I know. Make something you think is cool. I don't even know what's cool right now. It's not even, okay, it's 10 o'clock, barely. <laughs> All right, play around with the idea of market, a shopping basket, a um you have any other NFTs we want to mix into this? Oh, let me just see what we've got. I mean, I have more like the one we like the avocado. Mm -hmm. I texted them to you previously, so you do okay. have them. They're probably on the other artboard. Just as yeah, there's only a couple. Um Mitchell already had his work day. It's already five o'clock where he's at. He's in the future. How is it? Is the future okay? Do we make it? Mm -hmm. ah, I got jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that with Paul all the time. I got a buddy of mine who now is in Japan. He's nine hours ahead. I his, have one his, that he's... explodes its heart. What? Like I have one that it's just a big heart and it explodes. I, like I it. have one where its head turns huge and then it's a balloon. Um, uh, you... I think I sent you most of them in the other artboard. Okay. Uh, I guess I can open that. Let me grab it real quick. We have a pineapple one and we have tiny crew. Tiny crew. I don't remember what those ones are. Where did you send me? Let's see. I'm having a panic attack where I'm wondering Okay. Mm -hmm. I was oh, like, no. that file didn't get saved. <laughs> I always save my stuff, but it, can I find it again? Hard to know. Okay. So we did all those. Mm -hmm. We, okay. These are the NFTs I have on the okay. board. It's There's really the tiny, these. tiny crew. I mean, you, you could literally just take the skeleton guy out of there. The whole guy. Um, there's another one that I sent you. Um, like, what if you just took the whole guy that's sitting in the avocado farm? Avocado farm? This dude? Mm -mm. Red. This dude? Yeah. We'll copy it. We'll see what happens. Just take take the guy. <clears throat> just do it. 
Did you just do it already? Um, right. Like, he could have um, headphones on. He could be, like, really, like, vibing out. Vibing. All right. Just, oomts, 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 right? Mm -hmm. um, we could also not be Skelly related at all. Totally. We could use generative art for this logo. Because I'm not feeling it. I like it. That's what we're going to do. Let's just get us there. Get us partly. Yes. And another tool there. that I always forget about is Firefly. So mm. Yeah, just play around. See what they say. Uh, let's go text to image. Let's generate some stuff. All right. What are some words? Look at all these, Jen. Really cool stuff. This isn't going to help me at all, but maybe. Well, it, it might get us inspired, though. Okay. What do we want to prompt it? Okay. <laughs> so. I mean, say all the words you said before, but better. Yeah. So are we going, we're going for vintage, edgy, fun, funky like that's the that's the vibe vintage edgy fun funky thrive market vibe good luck with that ai wow that was a weird sound that my self just made it might enjoy it it might come it, up with something it i don't know man <laughs> i i interesting 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 all right, we can do a photo. Right, let's see what the photo Try. Does. Um. Oh no, you play around with that for a bit. You enjoy that. Just googled similar words to vibe. How'd that treat you, Mitchell? More energy, more energy, more passion, more passion. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this is the part of the programming where when you're building your own brand or your own portfolio. It's hard. It's so difficult because you can literally do whatever you want. When you have a client say, hey, it has to be red. It has to have polka dots and the font needs to be in purple. And I like papyrus. You're like, well, that's when you say, I'm sorry. I, I'm all of a sudden remembered I'm busy. Let me refer you to somebody else. But if you had to make the brand, you just, you just do, but when you have to, when you can do anything, it's overwhelming. So that's why we kind of started with an artboard of things that we like here. And then I put down the text. This is literally what the logo is going to say or the words of the logo. So I don't really have a direction yet. So another way we can play with this is to go into Adobe fonts. So fonts.adobe.com and, um, Let's see. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Um, font packs, foundries. I'm just going to hold down the command key. Click on font packs. I'll click on foundries. I'll click on recommendations. I'll click on... I don't know, man. Let's just start there. We've got trending now. I'll command click on view more. And the reason why I'm holding down the command when I click is just so I open up all these in different tabs and I don't lose my train of thought and I can come back to all these. And then when I'm done, I can just close these tabs and then I'll know I've checked them out. All right, font packs. Expertly curated font packs for any occasion assembled by the Adobe Fonts team and some special guests. So these are people who know what they're doing and they're up to snuff on the trends. So that's why it's, it's kind of nice to let them do what they're good at. Let's see what they think. Ten fonts to get you started. This seems like it's headed the right direction. <laughs> when I think of vibe, my first thought for some reason is psychedelic colors. But that's just me. I'm gonna use colors with I the like OUR it. spelling, like Mitchell did, because maybe the robots like that better. I'm just gonna add it to the end of this and hit generate. I'm just going to take a screenshot of all of this and 
throw it into my canvas just because, you know, it's part of the journey. It's actually not that far from this Voodoo Ranger. That's crazy. What? This. Right? Yeah, the the, the vibe with. of it. Yeah. So, honestly, these are the kind of colors I kind of think of when I think of you building a brand. Mm-hmm. So. I like the color palette. Like, it's, it's definitely giving energy. It's giving energy. I like it. Um, and... And maybe it's it's just text based, like it doesn't, you know, text based and some great colors, and everything else can stand alone. You know what I mean? Sure. If we could do something with the eye and vibe to make it the icon, uh, because we will need an icon. I know, but so it could be the, a circle, and that's what's above the eye. Mm -hmm. Right, um, something. Okay, so you're thinking literally this. Oh, I got you, don't you worry. There it is, done. It's the wrong one, but whatever. Look at that. Just exactly what you wanted. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. Done. Done. Ship it. Done. All right, well, what are you going to do now with all the extra time we have? Oh, my gosh. What? Okay. Play around with the Purveyor of Vibe font. We all liked that one. Okay. Um, I would like to see something that's a little bit more vintage. I would like to see something that's just very flat. It's, you know, vanilla. Um, and then maybe a grunge and then we've got kind of all the, all of it, you know, but like the old school, like apothecary, that style. I don't even know what that word means. An apothecary? Raise your hand in the chat. If without looking it up, you know what that means. Ready, go. Did that hurt your brain to stop talking because you were about to explain it and then had to stop? Nope, all good. <laughs> but, uh, okay. It was like the the old school, um, like medicine store, but then over time it evolved to be like your soaps and all of that, and then like it became they turned Dude. into general stores. So in the small town, I kind of grew up in is where my grandparents lived um i didn't i grew up in the city but like we would go visit them like every weekend anyway that store <laughs> that you're talking about was called funks f funks let's go to funks. f o n k s f o n funks no that doesn't f a u l i don't know i was like six years old i don't remember how they spelled it but it was funks which sounds so ridiculous right now am i even saying that right yeah no, I definitely am. I just remember being a kid wanted to go there because like my grandparents would go there probably for their like prescriptions and stuff, but they had toys there. So I was like, I was all about the toys. I remember that so vividly. That's crazy. Okay. So these fonts I copied over from last week's project files. These are all good. They all potential. This is the one that we ended up rolling out with our stickers. Are these all? Yeah, medieval pharmacy, medieval pharmacy, Janice. She gets the vibe. She gets the vibe. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to print my card game, by the way. Oh yeah. I'm gonna group that. We're gonna group that. We're gonna group that. So this is. These are gonna be real. What am I trying to say? designs that end up getting printed on things these color variations so i am going to just bring them over <laughs> and we got these colors 
from the regenerate color thing that's new in Illustrator. So cool. If you missed it, you can watch last week's stream. Uh, or maybe we'll get into that here in a little bit. <clears throat> but for right now, I just wanted to bring these over to kind of keep it top of mind here. All right. We're getting there. Getting lots of stuff. Honestly, Mitchell, I don't know, but I think the second one. What's the question? Nope, that's not right. Uh oh, I think it was. I think it was that. I think it was Fonks. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know why I felt like I had to type that in the chat, but I did. Okay. Um. <gasps> Grandma's on the. F she says it was Fonks. Yes. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> Is she on where? I've She's on Facebook. Facebook yeah. <laughs> That's, I love it. Hi, Grandma. All right. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying now. Okay, we're 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 picking different fonts. We're gonna do some that are more vintage, like the apothecary samples that I sent to you. Right. Um, yes, 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 yes. Okay. So this, this font seems too stereotypical. The brush stroke thing. Cause it is, but we could go that direction. This feels too generic. This feels too slender. Mm -hmm. This feels too slender. This but, is what we did for the sticker, which, which we like it, but can we try something more vintage? More vintage. Thank you. Do what your wife tells you. What does that even mean, more <laughs> vintage? It means... I'm all over the place. Like the apothecary samples that I sent to you. Oh my gosh. She's going to stab me. I can feel it. It might. Okay. All right. I know might. exactly what to do. Do you? I feel like... What's his name? I know exactly who this is on the Masked Singer. Wong, no, what's his name? What's his name? The dude that was a doctor, yep. he's a comedian. Yep. Chang. Chang. No, that is, he's on. I, I don't know. <sighs> anyway, that's, that's his name in the show community. I know, right. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're gonna use Jin or we're gonna use, do we keep these around as like, here's what we, here's the wrong direction that we chose not to do. We'll just stash them over here for now. <laughs> all right, we'll delete all these, we'll delete this. All right, and we are going to try Jin. I like that font. We're gonna try Prohibition. I like that font, Prohibition. Okay, and the reason why I like Jin better is because of these tiny little serifs that it has on the on things i like that a lot that's a nice one now let's yeah. also pull one closer to the sample i gave you part wait closer to this guy yeah like the this thing okay so there's a new feature in illustrator that i don't know how to use yet but i just did it oh how did i do that i don't remember there's a new font feature maybe it's up here in the new we're gonna come back up here to the top click on the home button and we're gonna go down to somewhere usually all right I literally, I just saved this and I don't remember how to get there. Guys, if you remember how to do this in the chat, let me know. It's a brand new feature. Here we go. I think it's down here somewhere. Retype. There it is. Okay. So in the properties, I don't know if you can see if our faces are in the way. In the, in the, in the properties window, 
and I'm in the newest version of Illustrator. There's this option down here called retype. And it's still in beta, so I don't know, we'll see how it works. But you can convert any non-editable text into a live font. So it'll be interesting to see with this, because it's on a curve, we'll see, we'll see how it does. So I'm just gonna click the button and it's processing. And I can't believe the first thing it pulled up literally is the one that I want. So it's processing, <coughs> it's looking at all the fonts. I don't know if you can see these, Jen, but that's incredible. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. Are any of them correct? Well, the A, and granted, this could have been hand done or right. stylized like I did with the last one, but this is, I mean, they're close. Um, this is kind of an interesting graphic because the typography's not just straight. Mm hmm. But it did see, I mean, it, it drew. I mean, look at the Rose Apothecary photo I sent you also. Like, there's so many if you vintage styles. Yeah, and if you click on these different, <coughs> where it recognizes the, the words, uh, you'll get different options. This is so cool. I'm going to do this just for a second. I'm going to click on this guy so you guys can just see what it does. Actually, there's a few options here that are cool. But anyway, click on it. Double click on it. And it's applying and activating the font. So it's going to go through and license it on Adobe fonts. And then if I click apply, it obviously kind of breaks because it's not, you know, it didn't, it didn't add the, um, the curve to it. It didn't bend the font. It just made it straight. But if I exit this now, I, I have, editable text right over the top of where that was. And look at that. That's crazy. It, it used um, like generative fill in Illustrator to remove what was behind it. And now I can retype whatever I wanted to in here. That's blows my mind. That blows my mind. Look at that. That's what it was. And, and granted it didn't get the curve, right? This is kind of an interesting graphic to, to show you, but, as an extreme example, that works really well. <clears throat> so I'm gonna come back over here and click on enter. It's gonna process. We've got a few different options here. Right, mind blown. Mitchell has the mind blown, uh, whatever those things are called. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Okay. I'm not loving the font in this specific instance. But whatever. We're just going to we're just going to go with it. Is it applying it or do I need to do something different? Is it licensing it? I don't see the same window I saw last time. Now, a reminder, this is in beta, so it might be Oh, well, that's because not only was it applying the font, yeah, it was also doing a generative fill to delete the old font behind it. That just is insane. So now it's a group though. So a couple things we could do, we could just go to object ungroup or command shift G to ungroup it. Or I can get my direct selection tool and just like click right in here or get my type tool and I could, you know, change words in here. Uh, lots of ways to do it. I'm just gonna ungroup it and then <coughs> use this, we'll bring it up here. And we wanted this to actually be the vibe market. Actually, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna eyedropper tool that font, delete that, so I don't have to type this out again, scale it to place. That's not bad. Or is that the same one that I was like, no, we can't do that. Flood, trail made. That's all right, that's headed the right direction. Uh, what about just for kicks? Let's just see how this does. You guys stop it. This is amazing. I could just play with this all day. 
So again, to find this option, I think I'm in photo, or I'm sorry, Illustrator version 28. Having fun? Yes, too much fun. This is where flat rate on projects can get dangerous because then you spend way too much time. And hourly gets expensive for the client because then, you know, obvious reasons. This is amazing. I'm just gonna play like this all day. Also, this font reminds me, we need to do a stream where we make like an ugly sweater. Like mm -hmm. the stitching style. I'll style. add it to. Yeah, I wanna play with that. The idea board. Idea board, so many What's options. the font called? What do you mean? Oh, um, I, this isn't, this is, it's just called low res. It just looks like it's pixelated. That's not what, that just reminded me of that. Just say ugly sweater design. Oh gosh, okay. This one has potential. This isn't the same font, but it, <coughs> it has potential for the brand we're working on. I feel like the first two hours solid of building a new brand is, is just brain surgery. And then, and then you take a break, you go have lunch, go do something else. And then you come back and you're like, oh, I know what I'm going to do with this. Hey. Is it doing it? Is it done? Do I need to click apply? Nobody knows. Can I just exit? It already did it maybe. It's just, I'm waiting on it, but it was waiting on me. All right. Now the only bummer is now it kind of screwed up this image I just realized. So a better way to do that would have been, what font, new spirit medium. Okay, it already applied the font. I'm just gonna undo this a bunch of times. I should have maybe cloned this up here so I had the original and then do the thing here. Um, but I didn't because I didn't know because that's brand new. But now I've got the font applied or installed, activated. Type change case, uppercase. Boom, okay, these two look, they look okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this guy and this guy and I'm gonna clone it over here. I'm gonna sneeze. Cause I like, I like adding more things to my artboard because then I feel like I've worked really hard when really all I did is just made a big old mess of stuff and just duplicated stuff. Just part of the process. But hey, look, it's not a white canvas anymore. It's got stuff going on. So, you know, progress. What do you think about these, babe? Any of these doing it for you? Either of these two? One second. Let me look at it on the screen without something in front of me. I have it on my screen. Yeah, but your whole thing is in front of it. Oh. All right, well. The bottom one feels too oddly corporate. Really? Yeah, like like a, like a grocery store mini mart in a small town. Oh, sure. Um, the Vibe Market above, I like that it's got a little more something to it. But it's still not. That's the same okay, font I used me, for the T3B brand. Let me just, brand. let me just, give me two seconds. All right. Let me send you what I was thinking. Okay. I mean, you've sent me a or bunch just of just some other ideas, right? Stuff. Like. <clears throat> All right. So one other thing uh, I should point out to do the retype feature, like right now nothing is selected. I actually have to come in and select something. So these are the images that I brought to the dashboard. No the canvas, the artboard, the dashboard. Um, do they have it here yet? No, they don't. Okay, so you click on the image and then in the properties tab, which if you don't see, right now I'm on the Essentials Classic layout for Illustrator, computer window, and you can come all the way down and open up your properties window. And then as you click on things, your properties over here on the side will change. What's available will change to you. So. Click on the image, scroll down on the properties and all the way down here, retype beta. So just a quick recap on how to get there. I guess the other thing I should recap real quick <coughs> is maybe you don't even have the right version of Illustrator. So if you go into the Adobe Cloud app, my grandma's gonna be like busting out Photoshop and Illustrator design. So I no hope time. she does. This is gonna be amazing. 
I'm going to get these Christmas cards from, from Grandma. Made with love in Photoshop. Those I'm just are. giving you a big variety because I think it's important to try things. I love it. Okay, so if you go to your homepage of the Creative Cloud apps, you'll see a lot of stuff here. Yours may look different, but if you see the app you want, just click on it and off you go. Uh, or click down here on apps. Okay, and there's going to be, again, depending on what you have going on, some different things here. All apps is probably what pulls up for you. And you can install it here. And again, I'm using, I think this is version 28 in Illustrator. Okay. But if you want to be even more in front on the cutting edge, you know, because you like the thrill of projects potentially crashing while you're working on it, um, come over here to beta apps. So we're under apps, down to beta apps. And then you can install these beta apps, which will have the more experimental versions of these updates available. So there you have it. Okay. Um, Selection is not understood. It doesn't even know where to begin with this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a little rectangle just around cloud catcher here. And then I'm going to shift click the image behind it and then I'm gonna hit command seven, control seven on a PC, which makes a mask and it just masks that big image with that rectangle. So now hopefully illustrator can be like, Oh, I, I see what we're looking at here. It's just this little bit. So I'm going to, and then that actually worked. So now I've got the option to click enter on my retype. Just gonna think about it. Selection not understood. Select either an outline text or image with text. Maybe it's just too artistic. Ooh, this one's cool. Maybe if I just do that. Command click. Shift click, command seven, enter. Can it do it? Doesn't understand. Okay, well, I mean, that's all right. This is pretty, pretty high speed stuff here. So what we're gonna do is change the selection to just around this tiny little bit. Shift click, command seven, enter. Even if you don't use some of these, we should save them because I vibe hard with all of these fonts that I'm sending you. Okay. So that still doesn't work. I could be doing something wrong. It also could be just too small. It ooh, could be because it's beta. I don't know. I don't know. But there you have it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, how do I make? Why is this not letting me grab the resize? Nope. Oh, that's why. Oh, goodness. There we go. I'm back. <laughs> Honestly, though, Mitchell, Mitchell says more stuff means you worked well, even if you're still at the start. <laughs> Basically, so you're not wrong. I mean, so this reminds me of a story. I had a client once. I sent them a $50 invoice, 50 bucks, which we the invoices we typically send are substantially more than that. So 50 bucks is like. Why did it, we even send it? I, it was. Do you, it was that they were artists. Um, they had that art gallery over in Creston. Ah. Yeah. Um, so they wanted me to break down the cost of everything I did. It was like a simple update on their website and they couldn't believe it was $50. And in the same, the same day, I sent an invoice for $5,000 for another project I'd been working on. And that client paid it within like 10 minutes of receiving the invoice. No questions asked. It was like a one item, like, or a one line on the, it didn't even break it down. It was, one, it was just like web services, $5,000 and they paid it. No questions asked. Yeah. And I bring that up because um, some clients want to just see the struggle. They want to see, they want to see that you earned it. They want to see that you, you thought hard about everything and you spent a bunch right. of time and all these different looks, whatever. And so sometimes, I mean, I don't, it depends on who you're working for. You can play the game and you could do that. Like how hard is it for me to be like, Oh, I'm just going to clone these over here. And then I'm just going to do this. And then I'm, you know, like all of a sudden it looks like, yeah, people can be funny creatures, Mitchell. All of a sudden it looks like, man, you just worked hard on this. And on the flip side, I think about the story about Steve Jobs when he started, which, what was the company? It was called Next, I think. I forget. And he had, was it Paul Rand? Uh, you know, iconic logo designer, dude. 
do his logo. And then the guy's like, all right, I'm going to charge you. I don't remember how many tens of thousands of dollars and you're going to get one look. I'm going to send it to you when I send it to you. And that's it. And basically like, here's your final logo. No questions asked, right? Like there's a lot of ways you can work. <clears throat> Obviously there's different caliber of clients. So major tangent. I don't even know how I got onto this. Oh, just cause there's like, we have all this crazy on the canvas on the artboard and yet we have done nothing. I'm going to play with the recolor cause I like that. I'm going to select this just more new Adobe features while I let my brain think about life, select your artwork, hit recolor down here to generative recolor. And we can also let AI create more colors for us. What was it? A path. Okay. Uh, how about vintage? Say vintage. Hit return. AI is going to come back with some different variation colors we could apply. When you're ready. When I'm ready, you click on it and then it automatically updates all of your artwork. That looks nothing vintage to me, but whatever. That was fun. All right. Back to the, back to the fonts. This is a no, no fly for you. No fly zone. Oh, this is hard today. When I'm ready, <coughs> ready for what? What do you want to do? I texted you. Oh, everything, everything. Oh, okay. And to save all these fonts because I will oh, like to use them for different were things. We're busy. Okay. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Let's okay. She was busy. Let's, are these the font names? Yep. From the font. From the font. The font is nice, but you can get some fonts that break things. Also, I like how it's laid out though. And always you, it's nice. Right. Aren't always, uh, they say you can't use them for corporate use business. Yeah. You got to use them for like, I don't know. I don't know how you like, if you're what, you're a student and you're just going to use it for your portfolio or something. I don't know. But you get the vibe. You get the vibe. Okay. So these are all the different fonts that Jenna thinks would be an option. Great. Uh, these are just images that she took screenshots of from the font. And then I just took pictures of her pictures in our text thread and just pasted them in here. Yeah. Is it Eaton? I hope I said your name right. Uh, the retype feature is awesome in Illustrator. I, this is the first, literally the first project was like, oh, this might be helpful because it's so new. I don't think to use it in my workflow yet. Glass Onion. This was a good movie. We just saw this last week, actually. For, even though it's been out for like, I don't know, a year now. Really enjoyed that. Great movie. Highly recommend it. Did you like it? Jen? I did like it. You did like it. It's funny. A lot of times the movies we like get like poor reviews by the critics who are, you know, snobby about it. We should watch the original one again. Or the first mm -hmm. one. The first one's quite good. All right. So those two fonts. Let's see. Let's see if retype can get us there. I should move my overlay. Can I, or is it locked? It's locked. How do I, is it this one? Uh, we'll deal with that when I'm not streaming. Sorry, my face is over the things. We'll just do this. All right. Uh, I know it used to be impossible to find the actual font. So you can also use Photoshop, which has probably also updated, but I've not, um, I've, I've not played with the update in Photoshop. If it has, I'm sure it does. If Illustrator has it, Photoshop for sure has it. But the way you used to do font stuff is you would draw a selection around something like this, and then you come up to type, and you go down to match font. And again, there's probably, maybe in the properties menu, I don't see it. I don't, maybe, maybe Photoshop didn't get that. I haven't heard yet. But you click match font, and then it searches. This was an actual font. It'll be interesting to see if at an angle, if it picks up on it. So 
So there's that way to do it. The other way that I used to do font matching is I'd go to whatthefont.com and then somewhere up here, whoa. I'd upload the image of the font and then it would kind of get me close. So, I mean, these are all ways to work, but the new one is so much better. Um, and yeah, we started, I don't know if, even if you were been watching the stream at the beginning or not, but we jumped into Firefly to try and get some ideas <coughs> and, you know, garbage in garbage out, right? Like I didn't know what to say. So I just said all the words that Jenna was saying and we just smashed it in here and this inputs is, matter. It, yeah. Whatever you're, you know, people think like, Oh my goodness, AI is going to totally replace us. And it probably will, but I don't know. They used to think Photoshop and Illustrator was going to replace artists, but we just have new tools now. And so, ah, <laughs> nope, ignore me. I'm like a kid entering in the middle of the movie. That's funny. <laughs> <clears throat> I love it. What's up, Arshia? Hey. Uh, um, anyway, so we, we explored some ideas, but like if you don't have the right descriptions, it's just going to give you what you said. So uh, that's where, if you are going to play with Firefly, it's fun to maybe find an image that you like from their demo. And we're just at firefly.adobe.com if you're just tuning in and new to this whole thing. Um, and maybe I'm like, ooh, that is really cool. What is this? So if I hover over it, you can see what the prompt was. It's a whimsical bird made of flowers. And if I click on it, it's interesting. That's all it said. It's got a filter down here applied for art. So that's the type of content, not a photo, but an art. Uh, we've got some other, you know, creative controls we can play with here. Those are beautiful. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, very, very incredible stuff. All right. I'm a little bit off track here. Let's get back. <clears throat> I was doing the, uh, font retype. Selection not understood. See, I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I feel like it worked immediately on this crazy stuff over here. But this one that looks like it would be pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, it doesn't recognize. I don't. I don't know. Um, or we just ignore that, and now we just make stuff. Now we just make stuff. Okay. Um, so, did you like any of the fonts that I gave you? I. Didn't give them too much thought yet. Uh, Imran, we, we are, I'm kind of going about this old school as in like the way that I used to do things, but I'm also remembering, oh yeah, Adobe made a brand new tool for this. So we're kind of exploring um, what's possible with AI. So specifically, and I don't know if, I don't know if the font retype would be considered AI or not, but um, the image is we, I, so when we first started this project, so gigantic step back, if you're new to the stream, uh, last week we made this sticker. We had a ton of fun doing this mm -hmm. purveyor of vibes sticker and um, we ended up ordering it. So you guys will be able to buy these on a website that we are about to make. Maybe we'll give some away to the people in the chat. Once we get the branding once we get, done. Once we get the branding done. And so <clears throat> we're building a brand to house the brand. We're building a brand of brands. Basically, uh, we either do Shopify or WooCommerce store. Um, I might do WooCommerce because it's on WordPress and I can arm wrestle it into what I want it to be a little better. But um, Or maybe we'll do Shopify because then it's really, really simple for Jen to do updates. So we started playing around with like, ooh, we could turn this into merch and we could do all kinds of cool stuff with this. We were just playing around with mockups in Adobe um, Illustrator as well. So over the weekend, my wife and I were like, hey, let's start another business because we like to just start businesses and do things. So we are going to make another website and now it's it's going to be the vibe.market. And so her prompt to me this morning was like, hey, you're going to go live and you're going to make a logo for this. And I was like, what? And I hadn't even finished you know, my coffee yet. So that's how we got onto this rabbit trail of the live stream. Mm -hmm. And... uh basically showing you my process as far as like how we bring in different ideas from whether it's Pinterest or she's texting me or, you know, whatever I have kind of building an art board, starting to kind of understand the flavor of what we're going to design. And yet I still have no idea what this, this is going to be the text for the logo. I have no idea what this turns into 
Okay, so that's where she's sending me all these different screenshots of stuff she likes, whether it's colors, fonts, layouts, vibe, style, right? So um, then she just sent me all of these fonts. Okay, so do you have one of these that's really doing it for you? Young Hearts, cool. Legal so animals, I like Brogue Tea for this. Really? I like, yeah, it's kind of fun. I like Vintagers a lot. Yeah? Yeah. I could do that. Okay, let's see if I'm gonna take a screenshot. I don't like the V as much, but we're gonna take a screenshot of this. Hold down Control to copy it to my clipboard, so I can just put it over here by itself. <laughs> Whoa! You all right, Moxie? Scare you? Wake you up? Forget someone else was here? <laughs> Hi. Good. Good. What's up? <gasps> yes, please. You got it, Queen. I will do a drink. I'm also texting you. We're doing, oh, okay, we're doing, we're building this brand and that's the mess we have so far. We're, we're working on fonts for this, for the Vibe Market. Yes, Vibe Market. So anyway, we were just about to try and apply this Vintagers font. But the reason why I don't want to download, yeah, anyway, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Cool. All right. I will text you. All right. See ya. Um, that was Katie making an off-camera appearance to get our coffee order. Thank you, Katie. All right. Um, so I could just download Vintagers on Defont. The reason why I don't want to do that in this moment is because I like to make things as difficult as possible. I'm really good at that. Um, it's, like a, it's like a skill. All right. Fine. Let's go download it. Let's go find it defont.com. I also like font squirrel. If you're looking for new places to find fonts. And I also like, Oh, what's it called? Lost type is great. You can pick a font and download it. I might even have this font already for the sake of the tutorial, like donate money if you're going to do something professionally. Uh, but you can also put a zero in there and hit download and they will let you download it. Pro tip. But again, um, I highly, highly, highly recommend using licensed work or paying for your stuff, especially if it's gonna be something that's generating income for you or that is um, for, for business, for corporate, right? Uh, anyway, we will see, I already had this in here because I've already paid for this once. So, but what we'll, phone, we'll, Calafia, we'll throw that in here real quick. Let's jump back over here. That has potential. Okay. Uh, vintagers back to that was lost type font squirrel. Ooh, speaking of squirrels, me. Okay. Milkshake. There we go. That could be a good one too. The font. Ooh, you want to see another cool trick? Hold on. Vintagers. I love how I said, I'm not going to do this. And then I proceed to do the thing. You guys still in the chat? Still around? Watching the, watching the chaos unfold. Okay, so there's the font. I'm gonna download it. Free for personal use, which means not free for commercial use. It says right here above the download button, which you can't see because my big fat head's in the way. It's all right. We're gonna open this. And if I use a font for a project like this, that's not just a sync with Adobe type of scenario, I will actually put it in the project folder for what I'm making. Uh, design files. Under assets, down under fonts, I'll actually bring that zipped folder up in there. So that way later, if I need to come back to it or give it to the client, I can. Typically I try and license it under the client's name so that way they can use it for their stuff. Um, did I already install this? I must have. Anyway, okay, back to Illustrator. Integers. Not what I said, but sure, we'll keep that too. Maybe I didn't. Maybe, maybe I didn't do it. Hmm. Is it called something else? 
Sometimes it happens too on the font. Like even though it says vintagers, it might be called something totally random. I've had that happen a few times, but I can't get it to inst to do I have a filter on? I don't think so. Okay, well, while we're up here looking for things, quick little tip, when you're picking a font, um, this little thing where it says typography, sometimes you can, it's nice, you can change this to be the selected text. So whatever you click on, now you can actually see that in your drop down menu and it makes picking the right font sometimes faster or easier. So quick tip, quick tech type tip for the day. Um, or, you know, the full alphabet or whatever, whatever, whatever you want. So I'll do selected text. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Okay. So the other thing I want to show you this little tip I was going to show you a second ago, back over here on the font. If you come back to the homepage, there are these dingbats category, all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to go to, let's see. Shapes can be cool. <coughs> Nature could be cool. All kinds of shapes. And what we can do with these, these are technically fonts, but where this gets real exciting. I don't know, man. Let's just, let's just pick one. Be done with it. Little pinky doodles. We're going to download it. We'll install it real quick. Double click on that. Install. Jump back over. Oh, you know what? Maybe I need to do because these are not fonts from Adobe. I'll bet is what's going on as I need to restart Illustrator. I just realized that. Or not. This one worked. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, so I'm going to click here. Little pinky doodle shows up, right? If I come up here to type down to glyphs, I can see all, hold that thought, all the glyphs for this entire font. And if I scroll down, I can see somewhere, this does not make sense. Entire font, there we go. <clears throat> I can see all the different glyphs and I can just quickly double click on the one that I want. There we go. Double click, double click, double click. It's not working. I broke it. Why is it being difficult? There we go. Double click. Are you, you got a call? I do, but I forgot about it. One minute. Uh-oh. All right. See ya. All right. Jen is jumping onto a zoom call client meeting thing. Okay. So this is a font technically. And I was able to see based on the glyphs, like what was available, what I could do with this. That's the coolest part is I can create outlines. So with the new optional menu right below it, I forget what this thing's called. I can just click on outline text right here. Uh, what you used to have to do is go up here to type down to create outlines or shift command. O. And it breaks it from being a font to being an image. So where this is cool is then now I have basically, I can call it clip art or whatever. Like, I don't know. You do lots of stuff with this. You can turn this into a divider, copy it, paste it, rotate it, maybe add a line to it. Something like that. Center it, group these. And now you've got this cool little, you know, element thing that you could use on stuff. So that's where it's neat coming back to the font. Like if you look at all of these, whether it's crests, ribbons, decorative elements, okay? These are all under the shapes, dingbats section. Or here under nature, there could be some cool stuff for the market side of things, what we're doing. 
So all of these all of a sudden become, instead of a font, they become like images you could do. Like you could use this mountain range for some kind of a logo on a shirt. I don't know. Like literally limitless possibilities. Uh, excellent work. Please support me, everyone. Uh, oh, oh, Hedon, I don't know how I said your name right. How can we support you? Post your portfolio. We'll check it out. Um, <laughs> When you've gone down too far, you get rushed. Yeah, there's that reverb mic. All right. Um, you can use elephant font. I don't, I don't, that, I missed your comments. I don't know where I was at the stream um, when that was an option. But anyway, big gigantic circle back to what we were working on here is some kind of a logo for the vibe market based on all of these different ideas. And, um, <coughs> you know, that's where we're at. So I'm going to try and see if this font thing works again. Perfect. Okay. Did the beta retype thing that happened pretty fast. If you just jumped in here, um, I have this screenshot from a font that my wife found on Defont, but I'm having troubles getting it to load correctly. And a lot of times to be honest, I have troubles with Defont's fonts anyway. And on top of that, they're not licensed for commercial use. Um, most of them are for personal use only. Um, so what I want to do is get something that's like this, but I want to find it through the Adobe font library. So I, I, this is a screenshot of the image. I clicked on it once and then on my properties window, all the way down at the bottom, you have the option for, um, retype. So it's a beta. We'll click on that. And it found a few fonts that are similar. This is very close. So a Tocho regular, I don't know. Uh, let's just kind of see if there's some other ones in here. Oh, I see what's happening there. Okay. Um, I really like that one a lot. Yeah, at the top, the first option is probably the best. So we'll double click on it and it's going to create editable type right on top of this design and kind of stick it close to the original. And then not only that, it's going to use generative fill in Illustrator, which is crazy to basically delete the text that was behind the image and it turns it into editable text. Blows my mind. It hasn't been perfect so far today, but then again, I'm using samples that aren't in the Adobe library. So it is what it is. Copy it, paste it. Uh, let's just, whoa, let's just bring this over here. Look at this guys, look how hard I've been working. <laughs> Click on this guy, use the eyedropper tool to get it close, scale it down. I'm just going to go with this because Jenna's not here to tell me not to. I don't like this little weird shape, but what we're going to do now, we've got a mess. I'm just going to start over, not completely over. I'm just going to bring this artboard over here, delete the extra stuff. Am I doing hard work? Making this harder than I need to be? Yes, because I could have just made a new artboard without bringing over all the junk. But Or I also could have, up here where you clone, there's an option somewhere. Uh, is it this one? So move or copy the artwork with the artboard. So what I could have done, Shift O to get my artboard tool, click on this artboard, turned off this little feature up here. And then when I clone it, I get the artboard size, but not all the junk that's on it. So this is helpful. Like if you're building a campaign, let's say a email list or I don't know, something where you've got a distinct size for social media or whatever. And you're like, man, I don't want to make, I don't remember what the pixel dimension was. And I want to just duplicate the artboard real quick, but not all the stuff on it. It's a good option to do that. All right. Uh, okay. This, this has potential. Let's, stash this up here, bring a clone down, click on the outline button, make this, <coughs> make this uh, a shape so I can kind of play around with it. I don't like this little, I don't know, it looks like a cowboy hat or a bull's horns or something. I don't like it. Uh, hey, support from Bosnia. What's up, Zessie? You guys check out profile here. Click on the link, check out the profile portfolio. Um, I'm going to 
delete the uh, my pen tool. Hold down option. No, just kidding. I'm just gonna hover over these and click to delete them. That's gonna break that curve. So let's just click on that, reshape it. Mm, better. I still don't like. I don't like what's happening there. So let's. Let's make this one. Oh, you know what else we could look into? It's possible. So some fonts have alternate glyphs. So a glyph is like the actual character of the font. Let's just see if there's any alternates here. Oh, there is. Okay. That's so much better. Okay, so what I did, I let me slow that down. Highlight the letter that you want to see if there's an alternate. So for example, this T on market, maybe I want the tail to be differently. And when I hover over it, you can see there's op alternate glyphs here as well. I can see in this window, there's a couple different options here. Maybe I want to make this T. Come on. Uh-oh, I broke it. Try again. There we go. There we go. And maybe this K has a taller... Ascender, you know, the descender could be cool too, like that. I don't know. How about the M? And it's amazing how just like that, you can start to get some very different looks. Try another copy up here. Let's play with this some more. What I love about this kind of stuff too is you have an E here and an E here and an E here. And if you're doing something that's more handwritten, if you can make each letter look slightly different, it looks so much more custom than just a font that was typed out. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway, <laughs> finally in all caps, what are, what are we finally? Like I picked a font. <laughs> I know that's how I feel like that. That was a lot of effort. Um, hopefully that was finally in celebration, not like, oh my gosh, the stream is just the worst and I hate everything. That's yeah, I know. Um, okay. Type glyphs. Don't love that. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that. I don't like none of it on this T and I don't know what I'm going to do to fix it. I could make it lowercase. Maybe that'll fix it. Is that lowercase? Okay, that does, oh, it's because I got my caps lock on. I was like, what? That's better. Okay, so now maybe we need to play with lowercase v and a lowercase m. And maybe we need to break market off into its own line. <coughs> okay. So hopefully this is helpful with the process. If anything, it, you should feel a lot better about yourself going, wow, uh, Derek just spent 10 hours picking a font. So anyway, hey, if you're new here, my name's Derek. Thanks for joining in. Would love to have you around during all my other live streams. So don't forget to hit the follow or the like or whatever, whatever you do on the platform you're watching this from. We are streaming on Facebook, Behance, YouTube, Twitch, I think, um, all over the place. Most of the chat is happening over on Behance right now. So uh, you can check out my website at DerekMitchell.com for more goodies. Uh, there's some links below in the description for some courses on Skillshare. If you want to learn how to do this and not have it take 10 hours, uh, I made some courses where they're much more like succinct and to the point, and you can, you can check those out. Um, I recommend, even though you can buy them from my website, I recommend you check them out on Skillshare because then you don't have to pay nothing. It's free if you do a trial. Um, with that link, I think for seven days, which is plenty of time to get through that logo course that I have. There's a few other courses on there too. Um, and then if you like it, you can keep the subscription or you can cancel. No big deal. So mm -hmm. that's what I recommend if you guys are interested in learning more without all the side chatter that happens on the live streams. So, all right, back into this. Um, I feel like, I feel like this is <laughs> in a good place right now. 
Maybe let's change one of these E's so they don't match like I talked about. Let's make this one maybe be more better. But now the weight, it's too heavy on that side. So what if we did this one? I can't tell if I like that or if it sucks. Um, but I kind of like the spacing between the K and the R down below and the E then it's kind of, uh, it's interesting. Uh, and this spacing needs help. So let's go and find our touch type tool, which my brain stopped working and I don't remember where it's at. It should be, I hit command T on my keyboard to get the character palette. And then somewhere in here, do I need to do the whole font? Is that why it's not showing up? I don't see it. Hmm. Guys, where's the touch type tool that I... What is happening? I never know if my brain is forgetting things or if Adobe moved it, because lately I feel like things have been moved. Um. Anyway, I was just gonna nudge this over a tiny bit with a touch type tool. And what's this button do? Nope. Show properties panel. Okay, well, there it is. Create outlines, arrange, maybe it's arrange. Nope. Um, I don't see it. <laughs> under type. Yeah, and I'm clicking on it under type. Hmm. In the menu. Yeah, under type. Or is it under the window type? There it is. Character, I had this one open. Open type paragraph style. Paragraph styles. This is the window I had open. I don't see touch type in here. It used to be right here, I thought, unless I'm completely losing my mind. Touch type tool, okay, it wasn't turned on. There we go. There it is, okay, so I'm not totally crazy. It wasn't there. I did use search and it didn't show up. So I don't to tell you it, but we found it. Thank you guys. Okay, so touch type tool, I'm gonna click on this. Now I can click on a letter and I can nudge it wherever I want because I don't like how this tail is not lining up perfectly. So I could have created outlines to do this, but like I said, sometimes it's okay. It's being, it's being away. It's being away right now, guys. There we go. Cool. Found it. Got it done. That looks so much better. So here's the before. See how that E and the T don't really line up nicely and it looks annoying. We just fixed that. And by using the touch type tool, you can highlight a letter, use this, and do whatever craziness to that letter you want, and it's still editable text. It it just changes things over here, right here. So it just changed the rotation of the letter, the tracking, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's all. I mean, you could have just come in here and, you know, manually done it, but it's easier just to be able to like grab it with the mouse, click on it, and make it do what you want. So that's what's going on. Okay, uh, let's turn that off, let's turn that off. Um, this is all right. I'm gonna put this one back because Jen will want to see options. Jen being my wife. I don't know if you're new to the stream, but she was in here for a minute. She had to step out for a call. That looks terrible. That has a chance. 
That's better. Okay, well, it is what it is. Okay, um, now let's play with capital letter on this one. So I'm just getting options. So my brain is clearly all over the place, but rather than filtering it yet, we're just trying to like quickly whip through things, creating all these different variations until I find what I like. And then I'll go back through and I'll call out like what doesn't make sense. Um, you know, just like in photography, you still take the photo, you still make the file, but then you go back after the fact, you're like, Ooh, I like this, or this is terrible or whatever. Um, so that's kind of the process. Right now I'm just kind of playing around with this letter M. If I were to use this, this has got too much space on the side here. So this is a good application for that touch type tool again. Nudge this in just a tiny bit. That fits very nicely and makes me happy. That might be the winner. I like that. Yep, that's definitely the winner. Okay. How about this letter T now <coughs> with this version of market? I could also do something like completely custom if I wanted to. I could create outlines and then either use my Wacom tablet or the blob brush or the pen tool. Lots of ways to work. You know, I could start to bend this to my will if there's a certain look I was going for. And again, budget, depending on the budget we had for the project or the time I want to put into it, you know, all of these are options. So I don't like that though. Curve that up there, we'll curve that like that. We'll grab this guy, delete it, grab this guy. New, bring them out a little bit. I don't know, like lots of ways to work. Obviously, this is just this is just where my brain goes. This is how I do it. Um, doesn't make it necessarily the best way, but it is the way that I found for me that helps me get there eventually. So. Could mess with this all day long, but again, back to how much time do you have to play with things? Oh, I don't love that yet. Okay, um, all right, well, let's keep going. Again, digital art is basically free. It doesn't cost anything to keep going <coughs> and keep trying stuff. So, yeah, let's see. I think I'm gonna go with both of these for a second. We're gonna keep on those. Okay, that one's better with this. We'll delete that guy. All right, let's turn this into something more better. Okay, so that's headed the right direction. We'll clone it. Don't forget to save because I haven't saved in a minute. Let's spread that out. Let's. I really want this to be there, but then vibe gets to be small. close we'll clone it create outlines with all of this whoa
Let's come back over here and grab this guy. All right, let's try. Okay, I th think we're getting there. <laughs> Moment of truth. Hey! Yeah, I'm still alive. I heard you chewing out the dog. What, what was she doing? In the trash? Moxie, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, gosh. Here's Moxie. Uh, the office pooch causing problems. Were you in the trash? Were you? Hey. Oh, you definitely were. You won't even make eye contact. What did you do? Are you, are you making more work for us? Hey. <laughs> All right. Go lay down. Go to bed. All right. All right. Back to work. How's everybody doing? What are you guys working on? What's new? Thanks for being part of the stream today as we play around with this brand. I am pretty happy with this direction. That has all kinds of potential. So now I feel like the T and the V potential. No, thank you. No barking. These need some attention. Yeah. Moxie is an Aussie doodle. She's an Australian Shepherd poodle mix, which is the best of both. She's super smart, um, high energy, loves to play, but very intelligent. Did I already say intelligent? Like she's doing really well. She's a ton of fun, very cuddly. And doesn't shed, which is the best part of all of it. Um, I love where this is going, finally as who was it yeah or she has said earlier finally okay these two have lots of potential so i could just clean up my artboards but i'm gonna just keep cruising moving on because i can oh here comes my wife Quick, pick one. All right, that, that. Uh, I might need to just make this do what I wanted to because the other V doesn't work right. Yes, so we'll delete that. We're gonna go here. I'm so close, don't look. Don't ruin the surprise. Don't look. You don't do it. You're looking. I'm looking at my computer. Okay, just making sure. I turned your mic back on. Don't. I'm. Jenna? Sir. What? Okay, I've done it. There's your new logo. making the face <laughs> I had to put her live I will give so you, you one see. guess with what I don't like about it D it's two things <laughs> so the curl of the E that goes around it looks like a capital cursive O I see that, okay. and I saw that before. And then the V is not capitalized, and it perhaps should be, or at least have the sense of that. Otherwise, I, I really like it. 
Son of a... Otherwise, I really... Am, am I wrong? No, I mean, which is why we clone our work a million times over because then I can go back and eventually find the version. Is it this one where it's not outlined yet? He looks like you. Someone says, yep, yep, yep. They know. They know. Okay, fine. We'll fix it. I but guess. I like where we're going with it. it. It has playfulness, but it also has longevity. You know, like it feels like it's got some... Mm -hmm. um, but we need to see it stacked, and and we need an icon. We we, we gotta we gotta roll with it a little more. But you, the font what? is good. Okay, so crap. All right, we're gonna put this here. You love me. Can I say crap on the stream? You just did. <laughs> um, that was like when we were playing Fortnite last night. We were playing squads with our kids, and I may or may not have said something with my comms on that I didn't realize my kids heard me say. Oh my gosh. Derek. <laughs> I was talking to my wife and I was like, <clears throat> the microphone was on. It's pretty funny. All right. So we got to fix the E, which, why is that an outline? I thought I brought over the non outlined version. I did. Did I already outline it? Man, I'm a creature of habit. I wasn't even thinking. <clears throat> I'm from VN. Where's VN? What is VN? What's, is that a, Date? Is Vienna? that Vietnam? Is that? Let me see. I'm not looking at it. Son, son. I'm from Vienna. Vietnam? That's what I thought. I don't know, man. I was trying to think what state capital or what state letters. I was like, Virginia. No. <laughs> um, okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's fix this. Let's do things. Let's. Where are we at? Okay, you said the E looks like an O, so let's start there. Let's just make it not that. Okay, let's scoosh it in touch. Okay, and the V may be capitalized, she says. Oh dear, I do not like that one though. <gasps> That's better. Oh guys, we fixed it. Do we care that this is kind of all over the place or does it make it fun? Do we need this to be spaced better or spaced the same? JP. I'm sorry. Um, do we like, can I, can I get away with this where this being like the same space as the other text, but it's capped. Do we like that? So I like the font. The layout isn't quite right yet. Is 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 the is the thought that the font is going to be the icon itself? Yeah, it's just kind of a you know, it's it's a thing. It makes my brain hurt. <sighs> what if it's vibe market with like stack vibe and market? I think the V would not, and the V and the I would go beautifully between the M and the T, and then the B. Like yeah, I think we could, and if you you might have to. Stretch that one out a little bit. Kern that out a bit. Should I just do this? Is that better? That is definitely not better. That's not <laughs> how you kern things. It is if you're new. We're you not go, new here. Let's just make it a touch wider. No, we're not brand new here, Derek. That was a test. You passed. Thank you. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Are we putting the and vibe next to each other? Whoa. Wow, Moxie is like working that bone over. I mean, there's a direction. This is not doing what I want it to, unfortunately. Oh, it's gross. I might need a break. I've been at this for like an hour and a half now. Take a break. Let my brain think about my life choices. Take a break and move to Shopify setup. New stream. 
Do stream Shopify. Or, or not we Shopify, website, that. whatever website. you're building it. Do a website builder. I like where that's going, but yeah, it's market, not right. It's no, not. Vibe needs to be bigger. I do. I liked, what was wrong with this one? Oh yeah, it looked like an O and all kinds of it's stuff. It's not. It's 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 giving. <laughs> it's giving. <laughs> Look at you trending. Is, did Katie go get coffee? Uh, no, Zach is picking oh, up. Oh, gotcha. Did I put an order in? I got you. Oh, thank you. I forgot all about that. I know. It's all right. lunchtime. Let's put a pin in this. We'll come back to all this right. later. All right. Well, <clears throat> oh, we're so close, but really we're not. But this is actually a good, this is a good stopping point. I need fresh eyes to finish this because my, it's just, or, or we just arm wrestle it till Till it works. I need fresh eyes. Okay. I don't know who this lady is, but she's amazing. <laughs> That's my wife. Is that who you're talking about? Yeah. This is my <laughs> wife, Jenna. She's the reason I have found Hi. any success as a designer because obvious reasons, if you've been paying attention to the stream. Um, yeah, no, she's incredible. I proposed to her after having dated for two weeks because I knew I was marrying way the heck up out of my league. And so I locked that down. And now we have five kids just to make sure <laughs> she would never leave me. So I, I, you know, that's, that's where we're at. So anyway, yeah, Jenna, welcome back to the stream. She was on a work call. Okay. Um, also, yes, our shiny new discord server. I'm not good at Discord yet, but I am going to be. Oh, but thank you, Arshia. Jenna has taken the time to set up a brand new Discord server. You want to tell <laughs> us about it? Yo. <laughs> She's dumping her boyfriend immediately. <laughs> You're dumping your boyfriend <laughs> immediately? That's oh. funny. I don't know your story, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um. But I do know that true love does exist. And we you knew. can find someone right that you only want to kill 50%, 49% of the time, because then you never actually do it. Kill or sh she sh does threaten to shave my eyebrows off qu well, quite frequently, actually. Mm. Yeah, but that's really a punishment for me because I'm the one that would have to look at it. That's true. Which if is why anything, I haven't it helps me with, with my grooming. Yet. I have one less thing to worry about. So. Um, All right. Wait till after your birthday. Mm -hmm. Smart play. I see what you did there. <laughs> Um, yeah, I actually, I fell so hard for this kid that I sold my Jeep to buy her ring, which should have been her first sign to run that I had to sell a car to be able to afford to buy a ring. But you know, oh, what? you were a broke college student. I was okay. broke. Broke is a broke. joke. All right. This podcast format's fun. I don't really want to end the stream yet. I mean, I'm having a good time. We're, but... we're coming back on in about 15 to 20 minutes to do some web building. Okay. Um, so feel free to join us over there. Keep an eye on the stream. Um, Creativebrief.live. We'll be here. It'll be great. <laughs> Thank you. I, I love the comments. I, I really want to keep this going. It's fun. <laughs> we could do relationship advice. What to do, what not to do. I have a lot of what not to do. We could get into that. Um, anyway. Um, cool. Well, a couple things. If you enjoyed the stream, thank you. Don't forget to like and follow if you want to. It helps. It helps if I, it, not that it doesn't help me like great, whatever, I, but more so it's fun having you guys in the stream mm -hmm. when I go live, because as you've seen, if you've been watching the stream, there's, there's plenty of times where this is a group, a group effort to keep me on track. So I love having you in the chat. I love yes. the energy you guys bring. Thank you so much. Um, so when you follow and, you know, get notifications turned on, I usually have some sort of notification goes out so you'll know that I'm live. Mm -hmm. So that's that's it. I mean, whatever. You do you. Also, the shameless promotion, there's links below to some courses that I've built that are a lot more focused uh, to help you with your creative life. graphic design endeavors. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's we'll it. see you guys in like 15, 20 minutes. All Sounds right. good? All right. We'll Bye. talk to you soon. Later. Mm, this button let's push this button no let's push this button nope let's push 
All right, guys, thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you learned a lot of valuable information and I appreciate you sticking around to the very end. But before you go, just a couple things I wanna remind you. The first is if you haven't already, feel free to like this video if you can, depending on where you're watching from, give it a thumbs up or subscribe or tap the bell or give it a follow if you can. And uh, also maybe even just copy the link up in the browser and share it with a friend or post it to your Facebook page. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but again, just want to say thanks for uh, sticking around and I'd love to continue going live as much as possible and helping you guys out. So the best way that I can help you is by you commenting on the videos below. I read those comments. I engage with them as soon as I can, if I can, when I see them. So if it's live, I'll try and answer you right away. If this is a replay, you can still comment on the video and uh, I go back and I read those. So I just wanted to say, thanks again for watching and let me know what you're working on. I'd love to help you out and hopefully we will see you in the next live. And to be sure you don't miss it, like, like this video and subscribe and follow and do the things. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.